Hey, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Um, you like that, right? Yeah. I'm a little nervous, so please um, forgive me if I flub a little here and there. Um, good evening, and thank you for, and thank you, Columbus, for your wonderful welcome and for this very special award. <clears throat> um, I just want to say, I just want to begin by saying, damn, it's just an honor to be nominated uh, so I can rehearse for the day I win a Golden Globe or an Emmy, or a Tony, or an Oscar, you get the idea. Um, <clears throat> but I am sincerely humbled to accept this recognition, especially from an outstanding civil rights group that fight for your rights and mine every single day of every single year. Thank you to, yeah, thank you to everyone at the Human Rights Campaign for this amazing Visibility Award. Um, Speaking for sexually fluid Korean American basketball players turned actors everywhere. <laughs> I don't think I can be any more visible, am I right? <laughs> yeah, uh, what? I didn't hear you. I, I'm just so nervous, I can't hear anybody. I'm so sorry. Um, but honestly, this is an honor that I never in my wildest dreams saw, thought I'd receive. Um, I come from the, world, the worlds of sports and now Hollywood, where the images that are sent out into the world can often make uh, it feel like being anything other than straight or heteronormative or whatever is acceptable to the mainstream is still not valid, not an acceptable option. Um, but first, you might be intrigued to know my personal coming out story with a twist. Um, you know, my generation is far luckier than those who came before us. The real LGBTQ pioneers who struggled and paid the price to live their lives honestly and openly. Yeah. Um, we owe each of them and you a debt we can never repay. Growing up in a Korean immigrant household in Queens, I faced strict traditional values at home. Now, queerness was not an option I knew about growing up at all. And add to that our rough neighborhood where each morning when I left our home, I remembered to wear my straight, hyper-masculine attitude like armor to just make it through the day. Um, I can't forget when I was 17 years old, I played varsity basketball in high school. I saw professional basketball as my dream, and like any kid in my neighborhood, it always seemed like the way to not just make a lot of money, but also to make the, the family proud. And one day, in fact, while in the park with a friend, I asked him why he always seemed to have money, like a lot of money, and I wondered where it came from. Um, he knew I was cur curious, and he told me he sold drugs. So I asked him if the money was worth it. And he said, for sure. But next, he lifted up his shirt to show me the loaded gun he tucked in his waistband, beneath his clothes. So surprised, I asked him, why do you have that? And he looked me dead in the eye and said, um, every day when you're out here just doing this, there are others who will come and try to take what you have. And that day not only changed my life forever, but probably saved it too. Um, instead of risking my life on the daily, trying to come up on a corner, I decided to focus entirely on athletics and later on acting. The two paths I realized meant the most to me. And while I love sports, acting has become such a great gift to me personally. Um, a few years ago, I was very lucky to play uh, a lead in a beautiful independent film, Front Cover, a sweet comedic romance between two Asian men. I worked very hard with um, my director, Ray Young, on the film set. He worked even harder breaking down my own walls about sexual orientation and identity and caused me to be self-aware and to be painfully honest. That self-awareness truly forced me to own my identity and my attractions and to take real pride in who I am. Uh, thank you. What really moved me, of course, were the people I didn't know who came up to me and after seeing the film and expressed their thanks and shared their feelings. Uh, many told me that my character gave them hope and touched their lives in very personal ways, and that they felt seen. Um, I began to see a, a vibrant and wonderful community that I felt a part of. 
When I finally discussed my fluid identity with a media outlet for the first time in 2018, I didn't even realize I was coming out. You know, I was just saying my truth. Um, I realized how important this truth was, however, and um, well, a after the outpouring of the support I received from the LGBTQ community and from so many people with experiences similar to mine. And I realized that being an actor means you truthfully reflect human experience. LGBTQ people are people, plain and simple. We are a community of people, diverse people, who are united in our fight to fight for visibility and equality. We must continue to... Um, we must continue to demand the same rights as anyone else. We must refuse to be limited by our sexuality or our gender identity or expression. We must resist attempts by others to define us and thereby deny us. As a member of the artistic community, I challenge we artists to continue to tell our stories authentically to make sure we are depicted in all our, diver in a, in all our diversity, diversity, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression. All of our, all of our beautiful differences. Yep. We must be honest storytellers, and to us, authenticity, truth, that is a thing that really matters. As artists, if we can change the culture, we can change hearts and minds. Because guess what, y'all? We got an election coming up. <laughs> I mean, when we change hearts and minds, those people we, we reach can get inspired to vote for and demand candidates and laws and policies that protect LGBTQ people and their rights. Um, let me close with my deepest thanks again. Yeah, every actor loves a great audience and to be honored, but I realize it's not all about me. <sighs> um. <laughs> um. Tonight, I remember the kids like me growing up in all kinds of neighborhoods, some afraid. I'm so sorry. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Look, I cried at home, so I didn't have to cry here, but ah, uh, okay. Some lost and confused, some thrown out by their families because of who they are or who they love. Some too many who have um, taken their own lives. Um, uh, taking their own lives due to bullying, either by peers or their families and relatives. I am grateful to the Human Rights Campaign and for the loving and generous compassion of everyone in this room who care about those kids the most and um, want to give them a future where, where they will thrive and not simply survive. You and I see a world that shines our visibility on all of them and gives them that hope. So thank you for a wonderful evening and this special moment.